<laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. This is the Sunday Sunday sewing podcast with me and Mum. <laughs> Mum. <laughs> You're like me and Mum. And everybody's there like, oh great, oh look, it's me and Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I washed my hair for the occasion. It doesn't look different. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yes. Are you trying to are you trying to copy mum with the glasses as well? Yes, I am copying <laughs> mum with glasses. They look very nice. I quite like that. You turn like around them. and said, like, what are you doing? What are you wearing? <laughs> What's that all about? Well, what is that all about? <laughs> The blue light blo blocking glasses. That's what it's about. Long glasses. Blue light blocking glasses. So when like you're looking at a screen, it doesn't give you a headache. Oh right. Okay. Just just mum gives you a headache. <laughs> mum does give me a headache. Mum gives me a headache all the time. Ah, that's not nice. <laughs> uh, oh. I thought about doing something different today. I've got all my canvas set up. What am I doing? What are you doing? I'm really not set up to do this either. Like, so if anybody is like gonna be watching this because they want the tutorial side of things, I'm just gonna let you know that this is not gonna be like an edited thing. This is gonna be a hodgepodge kind of thing. I'm just gonna let you know because I was legit I was in the shower where all my good thoughts come from like we all know and I was like thinking do you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my paints out and do something but I'll do something oh, really yeah. simple I'm not gonna do something like like you know like a master work of art could do something <laughs> really simple and I thought well if I do some holly holly nice not ivy. What's the holly and the ivy? No, holly's the red balls and the ivy's the leaf, isn't it? Yeah. Ivy is, a, a, yeah, a plant, ivy. It's like it. But then, like, I've been, like, looking at my nails since the last tutorial I did, and I was supposed to paint them, and I've not got painted nails <laughs> Some yeah. people get really distraught over that. <laughs> and they're like, you know what? I'm just going to roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do things all the time can we can't do do you know i am perfect but i can't be perfect all the time no <laughs> <laughs> okay what are you drinking earl gray oh, okay. double bogeyman earl gray oh it's a super super strong version of it Oh, this looks really dark. It's nice. Do you have the brand Sash in the UK? Or not? No. Sash no. tea bags? No. It's like Twinings, isn't it, over there? Mm hmm It's very good. Actually, I'm just going to sit here and just like drink some more of it and just chill a little bit. I'm probably just going to get loads of people just signing off thinking I'm not watching this girl with tea in her hand and drinking it. <laughs> it's my show. I can do what I want, so. Yeah. <laughs> you chill with your glasses on. I know. I'm quite liking looking at my hair, actually. I didn't even flatten it. I just blow-dried it. Oh, right. It looks nice. Still doesn't look quite as red though, does it? Oh no, there you go. Look. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It always looks brown. Always looks brown. Okay, <clears throat> let's get started. Start switching cameras and stuff. I don't know which camera it is. Just bear with me. I'm gonna have to keep switching. Oh, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> What are you hiding? You're hiding something. What is it? Is okay. it hiding? So, I'm going to 
take these glasses off. Let me just put them down. <clears throat> so we're literally going to talk about random stuff while I'm doing this, Mum. I thought that I'm going to actually just do something rather than just sit there looking at each other spewing random stuff like we normally do. <laughs> Uh, it would help if I plugged it in. <laughs> First tip of the day, if you want to press your fabric, plug your iron in. Oh, dear. Joe, you know what? I think I'm going to need a new iron. I'm not even kidding. Really? Really. I go through irons like nobody's business. Have you noticed that? I just break irons. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it likes... I always press the steam button. Do you do that all the time when you're ironing? Do you always press the steam button? I do, yeah. I, I do press the steam button, yeah. I can't. So is, I don't know. I don't know whether that's what I'm doing wrong. Like, because I just, if they just break all the time. I don't think so. That's what they're there for, isn't it? It's press. <laughs> do you know what? I keep on thinking I should do a tutorial on this. So, this is my little pressing mat that I did ages and ages ago. And on the oh, reverse of it, I put the Teflon it. coated thing for applique. What was that? I said it could do with a new uh, um, coating back on it. It's it gross, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe while I'm doing the, the one for YouTube, then I can actually do a new one for myself. There's always an ulterior motive, isn't there? But can you not take that one off? Take the old... I yeah, because literally, like, it's not even stuck down. It's literally just pinned with pins oh, right. Right. Oh, that's on easy. the insert. <laughs> it's highly technical. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, you, gonna... what is that made of anyway? What's the base on it? It's a ceiling tile. A ceiling tile? Yeah. I'd have to show you in a tutorial. Is that not a different tutorial for a different day? It could be, yeah. I suppose so. Because I, right, so I want to like show my mum how to do this just as much as I want to show my subscribers how to do this <laughs> so she can do her applique a little bit better than what she's doing it right now. I mean, like, okay, like, yeah, the zigzag stitch is nice. But I still think it's better doing it the way that I do it, Mum. Right, okay. This is one of the instances where daughter knows best and mum doesn't know best. Just saying. <laughs> 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 I hope this isn't going to be like a live that lasts for like two hours. <laughs> I honestly isn't intentional. Okay. So it was a bit of crease. I kind of scrunched it in my um, in my pile there. Uh, We've been in the lump lab. I thought he was hiding something. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to get my um, cutting mat. Here we go. Rotary cutter. Cut. And I don't know how big to make this. How big should I make it? Um, What's it going to be? Here you go. Let, I'm gonna, let's do a 10 by 10. How about that? I am gonna to have to reference what Holly looks like because if I do it visually for my brain, it's gonna look a mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think we could put Google eyes on the Holly? Uh, no, <laughs> no. I don't think it would look no. good. No. What on Holly? The Holly and the Ivy. It's berries on Holly. What was what? that? It's berries, red berries, isn't it? It could have like a cartoon face on it, no? Oh, that okay. You're being miserable. <laughs> <laughs> you 
probably because you found them. What my other Google eyes? <laughs> yeah, I've been organizing again. I've been organizing again. And so you found happy. me. I actually, so I've ordered, so my mum knows I've ordered 84 threads off Amazon. And these threads look like, I can't wait to get out. I think they're going to come tomorrow. And then I was looking at my sewing room, behind, like on the rack. I'm going to have to make room for these new threads because I want to see them all. I need to make room and I need another rack, basically. Oh, no. Oh, no. What was that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> Is that a job for Neil? No, I'm buying one. There's oh, no that point in making them. Now I'm just gonna try and route up some interface in here. There you go. Let me try and do it on camera. There you go. Bucket of interfacing. But I'm not even going to find anything that's like long enough. See, I still need to go through this because some of this stuff obviously isn't, this isn't interfacing. How is this interfacing? So this is another project that I have to do. I've got that baby, um, that waistcoat for a baby. Oh, were you going to do some embroidery? I'm going to do something on the back of it. Still haven't done it. There you go. Iron this on. This is even, I think this is iron on. I need to get some more interface in. I feel a bit coming on every single time. Okay. Yeah, it's stuck. Got I thought, oh my god, what happens if this doesn't stick? I'm gonna look really silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not quite ten by ten, but it's okay. It's okay. You can talk in between the dead silences, Mum, if you like. <laughs> well, <clears throat> what are you? What are you making? Are you making something? I don't or... know what to make. I just thought like it'd be really cool to do this on on camera, 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 camera. And I actually want to do it without the black threads because I generally always do this with the black thread painting, and I kind of want to do it with the actual colour of whatever we're doing. Instead of the black light, okay, when I can see what it looks like. There we go, look. I'm trying to be good and tidy up as I'm doing this. Okay. Well, it just helps on it. <clears throat> you have to have a mess afterwards. Right, switch cameras. How do I know which one? Is it this one? Yes. It's not where the camera is. Where are you? There we go. I want it to be comfortable for me and comfortable for the people watching. That'll be. Right. 
Okay. <clears throat> so I am a huge fan of this brand right now. You know what? I'm like, could we get onto something that's it? <laughs> So it's this what? brand. This is actually English, Mum. Have you ever seen it? Derby. Uh, no, no, I haven't because I don't usually go into like the paints and that. So these are all the pencils. So it's every single like numbered pencil. So so it's a soft to hard kind of thing. So these are just regular pencils, and these are the ink tents pencils that. They're kind of pigmented. So once you actually apply water to them, they're really cool. And I actually made, I should have got, I wish I would have got the 74 of these because the thing is, is when you just get a set of, what is this? I've got a set of 12 of these and you only get like a one of the colors. So you'll get like orange, red, do you know, like you've only got one of the colors. And these are the ink tech, text blocks that I've got so basically the block version so this block let me try and pick one out so this is a 72 set of the um, ink tanks blocks so this block is exactly what's inside of the pencil so but it's actually been put into a pencil so you can actually have a bit more control over it so what a lot of people will do with these also, you need to raise your camera up, Mum. I'm literally looking at your nose. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what a lot of people do with the blocks is they'll shave the block and then they'll dip it into whatever liquid that they're going to be using with the um, ink tech. So I am going to show you. So basically... Now. So I've got one of these little mini cheese graters uh, or I don't know, like are they garlic graters or something? Yeah, I've got one. I got one from Canada. So basically you can shave off the pigment and put it into like a pot and it's easier. Or what I generally tend to do is get a paintbrush and wet the block at the tip and then mm -hmm. paint it on kind of thing. So I've done this with like canvas, but I'm gonna try and do it with um, just regular cotton this time, because I think the different fabrics behave differently. So with the, um, uh, so when I've done it with canvas, I require like more of the, of the dye on the fabric because I think the weave is heavier. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And obviously, like, if I did it on the canvas, it's going to be a little more will go a long way. So I've watched a few YouTube videos on this myself where people have used these ink te text, ink tents, ink tents. They're actually pigments. So they're not like colouring pencils, they're actually pigments. And they activate mm -hmm. when you actually use water and you'll see it live when I'm actually doing it. Because I don't, I don't think I've ever used these live, have I? I've done, I've generally done the painting before I've come on. So can you use them pen, the pencils on fabric as well? Mm -hmm. Or do you, can you use them on fabric and paper? You can use them on paper and you can use them on fabric, yeah. Oh, wow, wow. I got them because I obviously want to use them on fabric. So there's a couple of different methods that people will use to apply, like the actual... The actual um, so you have to apply some sort of water to activate it. Yeah. So uh, this is textile medium. So basically it, you would mix this with like an acrylic paint in order to make it, make it permanent and washable on fabric. So if you actually just bought like regular um, acrylic paint and if you actually applied it with this textile medium, it wouldn't just wash off. Oh, wow. Okay. And what you'll find is if you actually paint, um, uh, so remember when I did them um, uh, pictures of Gatsby, of Gatsby and I painted all that fabric, well, the fabric's extremely thick. 
-hmm. and they're heavy because once you put paint on fabric it makes it super duper stiff so you put this textile medium on it and then you would wash it and it wouldn't come off and it'd be softer right so you've got three different methods that you could actually use for like putting it onto the fabric you could do water and I think they were saying that water actually bleeds when you put it onto um the cotton and this textile medium but the thing with the medium is it's white so I think it's diluting the um the effect of the actual that the you know the pigments yes it will make the the uh color that you're using lighter basically yeah so a lot of people that I've seen online are actually using aloe vera gel. Oh, just regular aloe vera gel you put on your skin? Yep. So I have never done it with aloe vera gel, so I am literally going to find out how this looks like right now. <laughs> oh, okay, right. That's so I'm going to, I'll get a little pot. And I'll just basically put a little bit of the gel in the pot. There you go. And I'm going to pop these out of the way. Because I actually, I didn't know about for the Christmas present, because Neil keeps asking me what I want for Christmas. I don't know whether to ask him to get me these in the 72 pack. Because, like, if I show you what actually comes with the blocks, so you've got all of these colours. So as you can see, you've got all of these. That's my lovely iron that loves to do that all the time. Or so shut off. No, it's too <clears throat> So you can see here that there's all these different blues. But with this particular pack and the pencils, they only give me like, well, really just the one. It depends if you're calling, I'd call turquoise a green, not a blue. No, they give me two. There's a navy blue and there's like a, a kind of like a medium blue. But if I got the 72 pack, there'd be a lot more variation on the colour. And then underneath this here is all the other colours. Oh, right, right. So can you see how many? So let's try and draw something. I am going to have to like look at something online because I have no idea how to draw Holly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm so completely unprepared for this live right now. Do you know what? I'm going to change cameras so you can actually see my face. And you can actually see that I'm doing something. Okay. So I'm going to like go online and just remind myself what some holly actually looks like because yeah, i'm know, what do you know like what you said about them paints the the blocks and the pencils they're just the same thing yeah they're exactly the same so, thing so when you mix it with that aloe vera does it make it that does that make it the the waterproof it's a good question but, how do you know, like, if you wash it? If I if washed wash it, like, is it going to wash out? Yeah. I have no idea, because that's, that's why I know that the, the medium, if I washed it, do you know what I'm going to do? Maybe we should test it. Yeah. It might be a good thing, like, what you're doing now. If you tested that. Here you go, look. How simple is that? Oh, that's okay, isn't it? There you go. I'm going to do a yeah. mega simple... See piece of holly holly and ivy is that holly and ivy that's got to be holly and ivy hasn't it no holly is holly ivy is something completely different is it well that's you look not... up what ivy looks like for heaven's sake <laughs> <laughs> holly and ivy are, are two different things for heaven's sake <laughs> we have plenty of ivy here it just grows it's like wild it's very, it's like a weed here. <laughs> Where's Bob when you need her? She's going to laugh. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Let's just do this really, really rough. It's like really quiet now. I'm just looking at how you were doing now. <laughs> You're like, for my own peace of mind, I'm going to have a lot to see. Can you see, kind of? Well, you can, can't you? It's, yeah, I, yeah. It's very faint, but I'm sure I you want can it, see. I want it to be faint. Yeah. I'm literally not an artist, so. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is it always looks freaking awesome at the end of it. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. Somewhat like that. It's on the fly. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. I'm, I'm showing you guys like the technique of it. You're obviously better drawers than me, so you can go off and eat the bar out. Okay, and we'll get the paint brushes out. And this is the very first time I've ever done it with like, so let me just show you the difference between. So with the, the pencils, and you don't even have to colour it in, if I'm honest. You just like put in like lines in places. And everything becomes apparent when we put the actual water on it. I'm making sure you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, right. So <clears throat> So with the pencils, you, what about with the uh, with the, um, the the stick things though? You'd have to wet them, wouldn't you, straight away? No. Oh. So I want to show you. So let's get a. I think this is a red. Most people do swatches. I mean, you can just use it like this. Or you can actually, like you said, you can dab it on the actual thing. And then, because it doesn't look like much now, does it? Let's be honest. Let's... So is it the aloe vera that you put on that? Yeah.
I'm going to try and apply it straight on the block as well and see how. Different it comes, it looks. Hmm. But can you see how it's activated the actual pigment? Yeah. So you can paint your own quilt blocks. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> It'd be like a paint by number kind of thing, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh. Let's put it straight on the block and see how it looks because it is doing it a little bit different to how because obviously like so the gel is a lot more um obviously it's not as watery. There we go. And obviously, if you're doing a flower, you could do the different like grade gradients in it, and do the different shades. Yes, yeah. in the flower. This is a really tiny area. I might do that with the greens in a minute when I do the leaves. The holly. The leaves. Holly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the holly um do you even know how that song even goes like, that's the only part of the song that i know the holly um the ivy do you know the rest of it i don't actually know <laughs> Okay, I need to just wet this brush to clean it off. One second here. <clears throat> Quite different, isn't it? It's a very unusual way to do your colouring, isn't it? On, on the quilt or something. It's Here we go. It's quite interesting that, isn't it, really? You know, if you, if you were to do sort of like your quilt, you could always, you know, like, it's like you say, it's like, if you're good at, you know, like the drawing and everything, and the different kind of shading in, it'll look quite nice, that. I know, eh? Okay, this is why doing your swatches actually helps. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to try and do this straight off the block. Let's go. This brush is probably here. It's been an unusual way of doing um, it. Do, do people actually do this on quilts? Yeah. I've never seen this done before. Like, then, do what do they do? Do they go round, round, round the um, whatever they've done? You know, like I'm actually going to do something in a minute, like when it dries out. I don't know if I like the the effect of the um. Aloe vera gel, if I'm honest. One second here. I quite like the um, using the fabric medium. Right. Well, this is what you have to do, isn't it? You have to sort of like, you know, some people like 
probably might like that aloe vera and some people you know it's just, it's just not your thing <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm thinking of aloe vera I go aloe vera <laughs> was that from some sort of an advert I don't know what I don't know what was it from so, hello Vera <laughs> do you know, like you're saying hello Vera to someone yeah yeah, yeah. This is literally so on a whim. See how this looks. I might actually switch to the fabric media. Do you know, I might as well just do like different this is just a practice one anyway. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what they all look like. What do you mean all? I'm going to do um, some fabric medium. Mm -hmm. Is it the, alo the aloe vera gel in a second? Yeah. Just show you the difference. See which one. I mean, you, you'll know which one that you like for better then, won't you, as well? I know, because I'm not quite liking this. Is it a bit thick? It is. Yeah. Because it is uh, aloe vera. It's quite gloopy, isn't it? I think that's the word I'm looking for, gloopy. I've never used water either. Do you know, no. I'm literally going to throw this. I, I am going to put it in the washing machine and see how it behaves. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one. Right, let me going to wash this again. I'm going to pour some of this textile medium in and show you the difference. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing it online with you. <laughs> it's quite vibrant in colour as well, isn't it? It is, but like I don't like it as much as what I do with... So I'll show you here. So this is a lot more liquid. So this looks a lot more like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like water. Mm -hmm. So let's do it on this one here. Um, Does it dry quite quickly, that? What was that? Does it dry quicker, quickly, that? We're going to see. Because I would like to do a little bit of thread painting to... That's what I'm going to say. Do you do thread painting around the edges of it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I, I decided... I, I normally do it in black, don't I? Yeah. Painting. And I'm wondering about doing it in green and red. Right. We get some greens going here. And I don't normally do this kind of thing like live <laughs> <laughs> with everybody watching me. Well, it's, it's good. I think it's good as well, don't you think so? Because uh, it's like... Well, do you know, it's nice to see somebody in real time, like, actually doing something rather than somebody who's been paid to do it, that's for sure. Well, it's nice, though, as well, isn't it, don't you think? That, uh, it's like, 
people can see different ways of doing things and techniques and seeing what that you like best of doing as well you know like, you, like the aloe vera gel or the um, medium stuff it's quite intriguing actually that I mean, so it just, it blends better. I find that I can go over it a few times because it has a bit more of a textured, like a, a water effect to it. I kind of, I was struggling with the aloe vera gel. Yeah, it's like it was pulling, yeah. Now I kind of wish I would have got a smaller bottle. <laughs> What do you think? What do you? What is it supposed to be used for? Aloe vera gel. Yeah. What is actual proper purpose? Yeah. I think sunburn. Just sunburn. Uh, effectively from skin irritations by elements, and for dry skin. Oh, I guess they can use it like a moisturizer. There you go. And I actually think this applies better when you put it straight on the block as well. Look, you see that instantly, instantly. Yeah. I've got the colour. So I think if you want to use these, I would go with the medium, not yeah. the aloe vera gel. I'll save you the six dollars right now <laughs> should i try it with water just to see what it looks like on this last one yes yeah go on then but the thing is though have you seen the difference like the aloe vera gel looks like it's darker yeah it does it's more vibrant isn't it and the the textile medium, even though it was easier to apply, it's not as intense. Like you get a more intense yeah, on the aloe vera intense. gel than you do on the actual textile medium. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this with just, I want to see what happens with just water. Have a look here. I would literally rather find out now on this toast sample rather than actually do a whole picture and then realise that it's not worked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go for it. It's that uh, the aloe vera one does look more vibrant. It depends what kind of look you want, maybe. And obviously, you you people at home have a lot more time to mess around with this than me just doing it live. They don't just think in the shower, oh, I'm going to do this one day, and then... Some more green. So do you know that festival in India where they're throwing pigmented dye up in the air? I can't remember oh, what they yeah. call it. Yeah, so this yeah, is the yeah. same pigments that they use in India to do that. Oh, right. 
that's become popular. Like they do that in Edmonton now on these like fun runs. So like they run through like Edmonton, like through like <laughs> dies at each other. I see that's coming out very vibrant as well, isn't it? It yeah, is, definitely. but I, I've got no control over it. It bleeds. So basically, you want some sort of a fluid. <clears throat> That's not too thick. So I need to water down the... So, okay, this is what you have to do. You water down the aloe vera. Yeah. Hmm. So you don't just use the aloe vera straight out of the bottle. You, it's going to be like one part aloe vera gel to like two parts water maybe. You'd have to play with the consistency of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the color, the color um, differences is like just the color difference is because of the texture of the fluid. Because the aloe vera one and the water one looks quite vibrant, doesn't it? It does, but don't forget the textile medium is white. white so I think yeah. it's watering down the colour. Just Would like you if you put white on something, it's going to make it paler. Yeah. So can you not get the inner, white, inner clear colour? The textile medium, I don't know. Maybe I should look. Okay, I'm going to change cameras a second. Because I need to wait for this to dry now. What about a hair dryer? Can you put the put your um iron on top of it? It's my masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna hang it on your um on your on your wall? <laughs> so yeah. your daughter's done. <laughs> okay, so there's part two, sis. This is not done yet. <laughs> Because I want to do the thread painting, but I need to wait for it to dry. Okay. I've got dye all over my hands. I'll probably have to wash my hands before I, like, remind me to wash my hands. Okay. So, I love these dyes. I think they're marvellous. I'm wondering, do I have something like at hand right now that I can show you what I have done? Because... I sent Fred the Frog off to you. He's coming in the mail. Oh, did you? Oh. I don't oh have anything that I've actually... Um, um, do you know, and I had, I saw that poppy one that I did not so long ago. I had it. I don't know where it is now. Okay, never mind. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry a second. So I will be putting a link down below in the description box so you can see how much these cost and see for yourself whether you want them but everybody in the comments on amazon like raves about them i just think they're marvelous they would look quite impressive actually as well don't they and i would have used these but the, the colors i don't have enough colors so i really do need to get the bigger box of these so and another thing that i have actually applied using them is i've used them um, my desk has got dye all over it now. Um, I've used them stencil things. Uh, these. Oh, what's that? It's just a dabber for like, do you know if you actually purchase stencils? Do you know for like um, 
paints and stuff. So oh, nice. I've used that to cover the larger areas for whenever I've done my, like the painting. So when I did the sunset of that frog, I used one of them. Oh, that, okay. Okay, I need to clean. I told you this was going to be so such a random video when me moving about, but it's live. Oh, yeah. It's different, isn't it? It's live. And it's, yeah, it is different. It's not just me and my mum just sat there just staring at each other all the time. <laughs> Yes, I think I need to find out if this is actually diluted. Joe, when people have used this, I need to find out like how much they've diluted it. They've definitely done some of it because this is too thick. You can't put it on straight away. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why people are using that medium because it doesn't it doesn't discolor it, the paint. Yes. Maybe maybe they do do. Um, Put some water in it, maybe, because it's clear. Oh, you mean the aloe vera gel? Yeah. No, I'm just saying that's probably why they like using that instead of the medium, because the medium's got like a, a colour in it to make it paler. Yeah. I just need to find out the, the recipe to water that down. Yeah. So it's not too runny where you're going to get bleeding from it, and it's not too thick that you can't... Because I couldn't drag it, could I? I couldn't drag it in order to get that pain around yeah. as much. I'm trying to think of the words. The bird is here. Are you? I think she's only just come on. Have you only just come on? I don't know how long you've seen. Okay, so we are doing a kind of tutorial thing. And I think what I am going to do for Roberta is because she's still wants me to do something on this um, tiara. So I'm going to fire oh, up the tiara. Roberta. Yes, Roberta's here. Oh, hello, Roberta. Hello. So I'm going, to do, I'm going to do half on the domestic machine and I'm going to do another half on my mid-arm to show her like how I do some of my free motion quilting. Because another thing that I like about doing this is the fact that which I think I've already got a couple of dots on here where I've not washed my hands. Um, oh God, I can't remember. My train of thought is gone. I can't remember what I was going to say. Okay, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay. Yes, Roberta, we want to know what you're working on. I am going to wash my hands a second before I get dye everywhere. the cats that you had oh, <laughs> was, it, was it just outside the front door did the both ones come I to need to know if there's anything interesting in here for I don't don't know <clears throat> it's like hold hold the live Cassie has packages <laughs> <laughs> okay no nothing much of interest it's my soap Oh, lovely. I just I, I just want to smell it. Just bear with me one second. <laughs> so sorry. Well, there's a big Don't box. I just hate it when people do this. What was that, Mom? There's a just big box there. What is it? It's not just a bar of soap in it. No, it's not just... Oh, that's so divine. What, what is that? Julie. Oh, God. <laughs> you spell it. <laughs> not, honestly, it smells so good. So somebody on the on the reviews on the comments on Amazon said that she actually washes her clothes with it, like old fashioned, like washes her clothes with it. Yeah. Do you live in a time where you used to use barber's soap, Mom? Did you ever use no. barber's soap? 
<laughs> You're not that old. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm also but like, how old do you I'm think I am? <laughs> Okay, so this obviously isn't so unrelated. What else? So this, like, I am addicted to this. <laughs> it's my Myers hand soap. So it's just my refill for my hand soap. This stuff smells so nice. I use it to mop my floors and everything. It smells wonderful. Okay. That is definitely so. I know this is so unrelated. So, this is. I could have done with this like two seconds ago. So, this is totally stable, sulky, and it's an iron on tear away. Has she gone again? She's gone again. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. So this is an iron-on tear-away stabilizer. And you can, like, iron on the stabilizer. And then later on, you can tear it away. So if you're doing it with applique or something like that, and I was thinking it would be good for my, like, thread painting. And some people have actually said that using this and putting your free motion quilting design on, so you put your free motion quilting design on this and iron it on. Oh, she's back. Can you hear me? Are you back, Mum? Can you hear me? Yes. Right. I hear you. <laughs> so, uh, but Roberta says, hi, Mum, I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, I'm good, thank you very much. I'm glad you're well, too. Um, uh, and she said that she's got, um, got, I got the EQ8 programme and I'm trying to learn it. I've got so many designs in my head and the programme should help me out. What's EQ8 programme, Roberta? Is it some sort of a embroidery software? I think it might have been embroidery software. So I'm just saying, did you see this or not? No. Okay, so this is stabiliser that I use for, like this is new, I didn't even know this existed until the other day when I ordered it. So it is an iron-on. So you iron it on to the back of your fabric, you iron it on, and you attach it to your hoop, and um, uh, and then you can tear it away. So it's not permanent. It'll just stay in the areas it is actually stitched with. And somebody else said that they used this, so they took a class, and basically what they said was um, to draw your design, on the actual sheet of paper, do your thread painting, and then you can tear it away. So no, you could do your free yeah. motion quilting design on it, you tear it away. So I don't know how good that is, but I mean, it's worth a try. Um, but I thought this would be really good for the back of my thread painting designs and stuff like this. Maybe I should use it in a minute. See how thick it is. Thick. Maybe I should use that because I was wondering whether to use quilting costs on the back of this or not. And I don't know. No, maybe I should. No, I will use quilting cotton. Anyway, that's a bit of a tangent. <laughs> I would be so excited if this is my threads. I'm telling you, I'd be so excited if this next box is my threads. What's this next box? It's too light. Sorry, this is super boring for people. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, uh, I didn't realize it. Is that it? Is it? That's in that box. It's really big. Okay, so this is basically so I can organize. I wanted to organize my journals, even though that's going to be too big. Oh, okay. no. It kind of does. I can squeeze it out. 
Oh, well, right, okay. Because they're kind of like all next to each other and I kind of wanted them to have their own little home. So if I actually take one out, they can all still stand up kind of thing. Okay, yeah. that's kind of good. That's good. Okay, I was hoping that was going to be my fridge, but when I hit it down and I heard that bung, I'm like, there's obviously something metal in there. <laughs> that sounds like my head. Boing. <laughs> okay. So now I feel compelled to like organise my room while I'm on my live. This is so rude of me. <laughs> right. Here we go. Done. Okay, I am actually trying just to wait. Look, I'm waiting for my holly to dry. There's nothing I can do. <clears throat> I wanted to show you the feet that I've got, Cassie. Oh, go on. Is that, can you see that on Keystone? Okay, so that is, can you, that keep it, that is the, um, and it's got the guide underneath. That is your over, it's your over locking foot. Right. <clears throat> then I've got that. Oh, it's rolling around. I think that's, a, is that a Teflon foot? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, it's that, yeah. Is this, a quiz that to know, is this a quiz to know if I know I'm so intrigued? I, I, you... <laughs> a zipper foot. What's that one? <laughs> zipper foot. I've got that one. You, you keep saying that I've got this uh, thing. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's your overcasting foot. Let me have a look at your other one again. That, yeah, that one. one. Oh no! Is that a stitch in a ditch for then? I don't know what's that. I don't know because they both look like overcasting feet because you've got that thing in the middle. I Do you know that thing know. in the middle? That's for your thing to go over the top. I, are they both overcasting feet? Where's your instruction manual? I don't know. It came with your machine. You didn't throw it away, did you? What? And that's to touch your buttons with. It's not the only one I've got. You keep saying that I should act. Um... Yeah, I'll show you the foot. So the foot that I'm going to be using. <clears throat> okay, let's get Miss Soprano out. <clears throat> going to move this out of the way. Okay, let me change my camera. So this is the foot I use. Oh. I want you to get one of these. I'll send you a photograph of it. Right, okay. This is your foot that you'll do all of your free motion quilting with. Right. So I'm going to attach this on. Make everyone sick. <laughs> this 
Okay. So, basically when you take this foot off, um, so I put everything away and now everything's all tidy and I don't remember where I put everything. Don't just like that. And my mum always tells me off and not having everything ready. <laughs> there it is. What are you doing? This is a live show, boys and girls. What are you doing? Said like, what are you doing? You're just, just banking the pounds. <laughs> there you go. I was trying to find this, my thing for taking my foot on and off. There you go. The whole shank comes off your sewing machine, and the whole thing goes on. My hand's in the way, just one second. You really need this foot though, Mum. Yeah. Roberta actually answered my question. I'm still ignoring her. Sorry, Roberta. One second. Electric quilt Q. You can design a quilt using the program and also pick out the fabric to use. Oh. Oh. That's cool, isn't it? That is, yeah. So basically, she could design a quilt from scratch. I like that idea. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like fun. Maybe I yeah. should invest in something like that. Yeah, I yeah, was just going to say that. You should maybe. I should. So I'm going to drop my feed dogs. Drop my feet, dogs. Actually, I'm going to take the whole thing. I need to cut the other thing on. I want the other thing. There we go. And then what else do I need? So I'm gonna change the thread because I wanna do this in colours. So I generally always use like glide thread. So I'm just gonna get my this onto my, to my machine. Broken. There's obviously a thing on my nail right now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the thread was getting caught in my nail. Oh, God. Can we you split your nail? I don't know if I've split my nail. Yeah, that me fire. So sometimes the thread is too thick that it doesn't want to use the auto threader. So I'm just going to no. thread it real quick. Sometimes the pigments of the dye on the thread is too thick and it 
he doesn't like to also Fred. Um, here you go, I've got some. I already have some green in the bobbin here, so let's put this in here. This is new to me because I don't normally do this Fred painting like in in the colours, do I? I normally no. always use black because I like the look of it. Now, somebody like left a comment on my YouTube the other day and said, like, what tension do I need for free motion quilting? What what stitch are you using? This that, and the other. I generally use like I'll put it on a straight stitch. I don't mess with anything. I just literally I put it on a straight stitch and whatever the machine's set to, that's what I do. The the difference with your free motion quilting is the speed that your machine is going and the speed that you move from your fabric. It's got nothing to do with tension, it's always to do with the user. I'm, a, I'm afraid to say. <clears throat> People never want to think it's them when they're doing something. Um, yeah, yeah. I think this is dry enough. So I'm just going to get a piece of quilting batting behind here. I think I've actually touched the piece of this white fabric and dyed it. Because I got a couple of blotches on it. Um, I'm just going to get some batting out. Cutty, cutty, cutty. <laughs> There's never one piece that's just the perfect size. No. There we go. Some day. Ta da! Hey. <laughs> Maybe I should have done the berries. Should I do, no, I should do the berries first. I'm going to do the berries first. I've just set it up to do the green and now I'm like, no, I'm going to do the red. <laughs> now I'm going to do the red first. Um, I'm going to go with red, red. Red, red. I don't know what colour. Yeah, red. After all that, one second, please. <laughs> I just do everything all over again. Have you done any sewing this week, Mom? Have you just been too busy? Yeah, I've been busy. I've got a week off now. Let's see what I can do. I want to try and finish up this decorating if I can. I've got the wall paper in. I did my Christmas bag as a tutorial. Pardon? Christmas gift bag. Oh, yeah. It's really good, that. It's very cute. Isn't it? It is, yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's a nice little bag as well. It's a nice little size for a child, isn't it? Just a regular, you know, like a shopping bag for a child. Do you know, I'm going to like switch cameras in a second once I... There you go. I didn't want to thread that either. I don't know why it's not really. Let's move that. I'll just have a little bit of red on this. So I've got enough to do the little berries that I've got. If I run out of bobbin. <clears throat> Okay. I've never, awesome. thought, I've never thought you would change the um, bobbin. I did, but I changed it to green, and now I decided that I was going to do the... the, no, the no, I always thought you kept it to whatever colour, you know what I mean? Like a, like a white or something underneath. I do, but that's the wrong camera. There you go. It's so cute. It's lovely. It's not like a little shopping bag. Isn't it? A little tote bag, isn't it, for a child, that as well. Do you just love the trim at the top? It's so cute, yeah. And inside. 
It's lovely. It's really nice. This is my Christmas gift bag that I've made for my Wednesday tutorials. Thank you. So if you want to make a tote bag, I mean, you don't even have to make it this tiny. You can make a great big massive one. Yeah, yeah. It's nice for a little child bag going shopping. It is. I think we're okay. grandma. Right, okay, so. so the thing with free motion quilting is you want to match the speed of the needle going up and down with the speed of you moving the fabric. That is all free motion quilting is. And to get the consistency of the stitches, if you are like, it doesn't, it really doesn't bother me. And especially doing something like this, I'm not really bothered about whether one is like slightly bigger than the other. I'm not anal like that. But if you want to get consistency on your stitches and you're going to have to keep practicing on your free motion quilts in order to get better. Some machines do have stitch regulation, which are going to, it's going to help you out a little bit. But if you're jerking your hands all the time and you're you're moving the fabric too quickly, then the, the machine can only do so much, guys. Like you just have to practice. Um, so I'm just gonna do these. The great thing that I love about doing something like this as well is that I already know I'm gonna go around in a circle. And this is like one of the great things of like how to learn how to go around circles. Like you already know, like this is the pattern. So most of free motion courses is like just getting like the, the movement anchored in your brain. And once you get that figured out, like you know how to do most, most things. So it all just comes down to practice. So I'm just gonna go here. I'm hoping I've got my hands too much in the way. And let's just go. So what do you think, Mum? Because you've always gone on about the fact that you want to see what it looks like in colour to what it looks like in black. Because I always do my fed painting in black, don't I? Yeah. I yeah. like the look of it. <clears throat> now I'm going to do it in colour to see what you actually think of it. I don't even know if you can see it properly. I'll well, finish it off. <clears throat> finish it off. Finish it off. Finish it off. Finish it off then. <clears throat> okay. Maybe I should just do one in black. No, I don't. I don't need to do that. Right, okay, let's keep going. Let's keep it in the red. Okay. I did have a loose tail. I really should have trimmed off, but I was being lazy. And this isn't a work of art. This is just to show you guys what mm -hmm. this looks like. Mm -hmm. You guys have all the time in the world to do it. Get off. Okay. To the next berry. And I do want to do one over on the mid arm as well. Uh, you missed that move. This looks too boring. This Ooh, looks too boring so. work for Cassie. It looks it was starting to look a bit too realistic. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say that. It, 
it all depends what you want to do and what you feel like, I suppose, do not it? I guess. I think it looks quite nice, that. I like it. So I'm going to do yeah, the it, it, it just emphasises the very now, doesn't it? What was that? Emphasis. And it also gives that kind of like punto effect. So chapunto is where it like gives this kind of like raised element because nothing's in the middle yeah. of this berry. Yeah. I like the word oh, chapunto. <laughs> yeah. No, I like it. I think it's Japanese. I think it just depends on what kind of fat you want so what what you're making but what effect do you want the black the black um just looks like the blood as well as it I it does like the black I'm gonna be honest I like the black now that I've ordered 84 threads <laughs> yeah yeah you're not gonna use them you're just gonna use black <clears throat> Or maybe, maybe what I need to do is if I use one colour of green, it needs to be a darker shade of green when I'm doing the thread painting. Mm -hmm. So it yeah. makes, you know, it, I like it a bit better because I like the darker colour on the lighter stuff. Let's see what it looks like. We're not done yet, I guess. Because still, I need to move. Don't let me forget to do it. I need to leave one. And I'll go yeah. on to the um, I'll go on to the mid arm. Who doesn't want to do it, do you? You don't want to fudge this thing. Why? There's nothing wrong with my machine. Why don't you like it? I'm getting so many wonderful comments right now on my YouTube channel. It's like it's so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, good. Okay. I do need to do a stem down the middle, don't I? Let's do the yeah. stem down the middle. Here you go. <gasps> I changed my mind. I like the colour. <laughs> <laughs> It looks, yeah, I like it. I, I personally do. Here you go. This is somebody else again. Hello, which stitch are you using for free motion quilting? Right. I'm using just a regular straight stitch. That's all I'm using. A regular straight stitch. Okay. And you know, the less perfect you are about doing this particular work, the better it looks. Like, don't try and do it perfectly. Don't try and go just around the lines. Always making it like make it look like a scribble. It looks better when it's messy. I don't understand. It's like my hair. My hair always looks good when it's messy, not when it's like flat. <laughs> um, one more here and then go back up. So you guys noticing how I'm placing my hands? Like I place my hands flat and I'm guiding the fabric along. Like why people have to hold on to it like they're on some sort of like um, white knuckle ride? I have no idea. Like guys, just please relax. Just flat. We're, we're not on a white knuckle ride. It's really <laughs> not that scary. There we go. 
Instagram. Here we go. Here we go. Look. It looks real. It looks really, really good. Okay, I can't really show you like properly right I'm now, not, and I'll I'm show you like, later on. You look very professional. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> I am professional! I educate! <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. I like it in colour. Thank you, but how do you get the up and down motion on the foot? What? How? Well, I've dropped the feed dogs, and then you just you press the accelerator foot. Obviously, I'm not quite understanding the question. I think the foot bounces up and down as well because there's a, there's a spring attached to the actual foot. If that's what you're talking about. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do this last one, right? And I'm going to move over to the mid arm. Do you know I'm going to do the lighter one on the mid arm, and I'm going to do the last one on the domestic machine. Okay. Show Have we done your stem down that one? Not yet. Wait, wait. <laughs> now we're doing. All day. <laughs> okay. Right now, I'm going to move over to the the mid arm. So I'm going to change. I'm going to change cameras. So because I don't want to do this while everybody's watching, because they're going to get sick of a start moving the camera. Okay. Um, not that one. This one. Um, so, oh, I see. Thank you for answering my question. So I think it was the foot. The foot goes up and down. And that's what it was making the bounce in. Because there's a spring attached to the free motion foot. And that's what's making the foot go up and down. Come on, I'm pressing the accelerator. And then I thought, no, there mustn't be an answer asking that. Um, Okay, isn't this exciting? <laughs> hey. Behind the scenes. <laughs> right. I don't want to trip over this. Go away. See, I tell you, I've got nothing set up. I'm literally in the shower. Like, I'm going to do this tutorial today. <laughs> <laughs> and another note, don't these yellow pants look good? Don't they lovely? Yes. Aren't they yes, cool? Yeah. 
I yes. love these pants. Yellow and, and blue. blue. Yellow and blue. I'm like, <laughs> this isn't winter. This is summer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I need you. I'm doing all this work just to do one leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Roberta, I'm doing this just for you, okay? Oh. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh... I'm gonna leave whatever colour is in my bobbin. I think it might be white. And then I'm gonna. Where's my foot? Very flug off the wall. Um, okay, let's change the camera. I hope the Roberta is still on. Could you imagine that? <laughs> Roberta's just left the building. Um, uh, <clears throat> okay. Mid-arm needle. Now, I don't change anything with my mid-arm either. I literally just, like, I never have any tension issues. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so you better not do anything now, Tiara, I swear. Because, <laughs> um, you know, I've just said this live on, t on, on YouTube and then it'll, like, it'll start being a pain. No, don't say that. Don't let me down. I love you, Tiara. You are wonderful. I love you. So this is the Baby Lock Tiara 3 that I'm using. And I'm just threading it. You just can't see me do it right now. Just one second here. I remember when I first got this mid-arm and I'm like, I am never, ever going to learn how to thread this thing. This thing is so scary. Oh, really? And now I can do it with my eyes closed. Well, is it not like a, like a sewing machine one? No. Oh, right. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. Okay. Let's go through this hole first. I'm gonna have to cut this end because maybe I should get my I'm gonna get my little tool. One second here, hold that thought. I am gonna get my little ladybird here. Do you remember ladybird? Yes, yeah. Uh I'm like, I can't even see the ID in the middle. I'm getting so old. <laughs> Is that for No. There we go. I probably could have done this by myself just like five times over right now. Good advert. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Rebecca said I'm still here, she's waiting patiently. <laughs> oh. See, Rebecca says what to have attention on. So and I don't really I think it's on 50. 
It says 5050. And my speed is set to 23%, if that helps. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm still using my glide. Can you see that? See, exactly like you would do it on a domestic, no different. The great thing about the mid arm is you've got the great big massive open space of the arm, of the throat. Um, mm -hmm. Can I even get a picture of it? Okay, so this is the throat space. So you can get like a bigger quilt in here. And on like on my soprano, I don't know, I want to say like there's not that great big of a throat space. I want to say about eight inches of throat space. And on the mid arm, you've got like about, I think it's is it 15? I think it's 15 inches, either 15 or 16. So it's a good, there's a good lot of um throat space on this machine. So let's go back again. Here you go. I don't know, I just, I feel more comfortable doing it on the mid-arm. It's just nice, you've got a nice big table to sit down. mid arm sets at a lower speed as well haven't I because I was going at a much higher speed on my on my sewing machine but mm -hmm. I'd like to so remember what when you're moving your fabric you want to match moving your fabric with the the pace of the needle going up and down and I do I prefer the stitch quality for some weird reason on the mid arm than I do on the sewing machine you can see better Arm, I'm finding myself to be a lot more precise with it. Like I'm not being like scribbly enough. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. with the sewing machine, I was kind of a bit more radical over the place. But when I'm here, I I find myself going. Oh, and I don't quite have that pivot movement either on the mid arm. <laughs> I need to mess it up a bit. So with the mid arm, just keep going. Don't keep stopping and starting like I'm doing. I think you I think it's much more better if you just keep going at it. Because at the moment I stop, this goes down and I can't move it so well. So if you if you keep going, this is raised up and I can keep maneuvering it a bit better like pivoting around and stuff. Again, notice my hands. My hands are flat. I'm not holding, I'm not white knuckling it. They're just flat. There you go, I'm done. Okay. Okay, mom. Okay, mom. Mom. 
What do you think? One second. I've got a load of stuff all over this other table now. Uh, it's this one. Is it this one? Yes. Could you tell your phone not to keep going off and on? I know. I don't know why it does things. So much. That looks really nice, Cassie. It's lovely. Isn't it? The painting and everything as well, because it's like it looks, you know, like if it was like fabric, it'd be just one colour. Yeah. And it's like, you know, like it's sort of like all, you know, like like it's like a real thing, you know. So I normally do the black, the black thread, because I like yeah. the look of it. I don't know, this kind of, well, it just gives off a different effect, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. It just it depends on what you want, what you want it to look like. And I actually quite like how the berries kind of like look a little bit whiter in the little parts, and how they look redder in parts. I thought me, it's the same with the with the um the holly leaves. So this is literally all painted. So I like for anybody who joined in a little bit later, like shame on you because you should always know that I start my I start my lives at twelve o'clock, people. <laughs> you have to watch it all over again <laughs> so I was using these so it's literally the ink tense blocks and they also come in pencils they're absolutely marvellous and when YouTube actually allows me to upload because it always only lets me upload this live on a Tuesday like we're filming <laughs> on a Sunday and the only time I can ever upload it is on a Tuesday not sure what's going on but um I will have links in the description box down below so you can see like where I get these from and like how much they are and stuff. But they're fabulous, I love them. Why do I have water on me? Ew. Okay. <laughs> I drunk my tea. I have no more tea. Oh, so what did you, did you like best then on that? Did you? What do you reckon? Do you think you'd try the aloe vera again with the, with a little bit of water? I would. I don't. I need to find out how to dilute this. Like, why don't you? Why don't you do it? Why don't you see how you? You know, what I mean, like if you do, you know, like a couple. Of things. Thank you. What is it though? Is it your tea? You made me a coffee. A coffee. Um, but what what are you using? What consistency do you like it at? Because you well, I don't like it at this coffee. consistency, that's for sure. Yeah, but you can buy them little but, but those little containers, can't you? From probably from the dollar store. Do you know like those little makeup things? Yeah. And then you put so much water it in it. Yeah, and see, you know, like you can put so much of the aloe vera in it. And so much water, and then you can shake it up and see if it, which consistency is the best. So, you, like another thing that I ordered off Amazon because, like, I've been going like crazy. I tried to go. To, well, I went to Michael's last night, and I tried to find the cards with the um, the framed cards, so you can put like a picture in the framed card, like that you make yourself. Well, I think these would look amazing inside one of them cards. And I no. think I would use, I would still go with the canvas, I think. I do like it on, it's nice on the, you know, the, the plain cotton, but I've just got this thing for the canvas. I just, it's just, an, it's the thickness of it and the density. Yeah. And I just, yeah. there's something about the canvas that is nicer. Get and I think the cards would look better doing it on the canvas and the thread painting. Mm -hmm. Did you get your cards? I didn't because they didn't have them, so I ordered them off Amazon. Right. Which are probably going to come like in three weeks' time because I don't know where they're coming from. <laughs> they're coming from come. somewhere. <laughs> Sometimes they come the next day, though, don't they? 
So she was, somebody said, how come you're not using your soprano? I was using my soprano. I used my soprano at the start. And then Roberta is always saying, why do you not use your tiara? So like, I was like doing, I did them with both of them. I did my soprano as well as my tiara. Mm -hmm. um, and they said it's very pretty. Cause I do have a new person on. They're called Benny Blue. And they have a picture of a cat. And Aww. the cat looks grey. So it must be a Russian blue cat. Yes. Yeah. So it must be a Russian blue cat called Benny. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> what a small well, cat. cat. I know. <laughs> we like cats though, don't we? Yes. We've got them all over, we've got them all over the cup as well, haven't we? <laughs> I wonder if it's somebody from my Instagram page for the cat, the cat Instagram page that's oh, following me on my ferret aisle. So, Mum, this um, this live has gone on for like an hour and forty six minutes. By the way, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why we Bert was there. Like, I waited patiently. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed it, Roberta. And, and now I'm going to do a tutorial on the Aka Quilt. <laughs> <laughs> Roberta needs to watch it. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, oh, she said her name is Toothless. The cat's name's Toothless. Bless her. <laughs> She doesn't like that... winky eye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him. Uh, him her. Okay, so what do you think? How has this one been? How has this live been? I think this live has been quite good. It has, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I hope everybody else has. <laughs> but Bert has gone, oh no. Oh no! No! <laughs> <laughs> Keep it where it is. <laughs> you have Bob's to do not on today. I'm very disappointed, Bob. If you're watching this after <laughs> me being live, I'm disappointed yeah, yeah. in you. <laughs> It's funny, right? Because I'm just going to start like remembering all these names that are watching me live. And then if you don't watch me again next week, like you go on a blacklist. <laughs> I'm Butterfly on the Wall. I hope she's out. If you're watching, please. I know. I've not heard from Butterfly on the Wall for quite a while. I know. I hope she's okay. Oh, dear. That's too funny. Okay. So let's say. Let's do our thing and say goodbye, people <laughs> of the internet. Goodbye from mum. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. And goodbye from me. Goodbye from mum. Goodbye.